feet on. Segway always rolls forward, so if I was to let go of it, it'll roll forward so it's like completely feet on first. It's straight from underneath you. So make sure you get both hands on and both feet on for me. Yeah. Yep. Both hands. Hands first. Hands first. I've got a couple where it says segway with your feet. Just slide your feet a little bit further forward for me. There you go, perfect. Do you sound nice and still? I'm wobbling. Yeah, That's still. still. That's fine. That's all right. Oh, no. So you stay nice and still, Segway will stay nice and still. I don't stay perfectly still, I move about like you are now, so don't panic if you do move about that little bit. So to move around at the Segway, if you want to go forwards, so you need to do a bit, a bit of pressure on your toes to come to a stop, a bit of pressure on your heels to go backwards, on your heels and then come to a stop, on your toes. So Janet, if you'd like to lean on your uh, toes now, you start to come towards me. Just lean don't forwards. Lay, don't lay back. Not lay back. Stuff. Just lean forward onto your toes. You can stay. <laughs> There you go, then to come to a stop, you need to do a bit of pressure on your heels. I'll come to a stop there, but then if you want to go backwards for me now, Janet. There you go, then come to a stop to put a bit of pressure on your toes. To move right and left, all you need to do is just drag the handlebars. So if you want to drag them to your right for me, Janet. So just drag the handlebars. I'm going along. So just drag them, just side to side, just drag them. Oh, I see. There you oh, go. I got you. I thought you meant I've got to go like that. Yeah. Oh, no. So it's not done by weight or anything like that, it's just literally just dragging the handlebars. So, oh, move it so you can do a full free like <laughs> <laughs> So you can do a full 360 on the spot if you were to try it as well. Right. So, so you, you, you go forward, not by the handlebars, but by your feet. By your feet. The only thing that will move you forwards and backwards is your feet. You won't move it by the handlebars, the handlebars are just there to support you. So the handlebars are really quite rigid then, so yeah. you, you can so you, yourself on so yeah, you support yourself on yeah, so you don't want to push on the handlebars. No. Because otherwise Segway will just spin out. So just literally just keep your hands on there just ready for when you want to move side to side. So if you don't like the sensation if you're on the Segway, if you just want to get off, if you, I ask you to get off as well, if I just ask you to dismount, always get off the back of the Segway for me. Don't try and step off the front of it and don't try and step off the sides. Because notice it's a lot wider than you guys are. So make sure you're not stepping try and step off the side or off the front. So if I ask you to get off, do keep one hand on it, but if you just don't like it, if you just want to get off. Push the segue away from you and just get off the back of it. I'd rather pick a segue out of a ditch than pick one of you guys up on the floor. But if I see to dismount, don't just let go because I'd rather not chase the segue down a hill needlessly at all. So Janet, if you'd like to do that for us, just keep one hand on it. Just take a nice big step off of the back. You know what I mean? Just take a nice big step off the back. Just move it. Take both feet off. There you go, perfect. So if you want to jump back on again now. There you go, perfect. Right, so we just turn so you can face these guys, so these guys can see now. So you'll see Janet's got four points of contact at all times. Wait time. for the so camera. Both hands and both feet. Make sure you keep those four points of contact at all times. Don't go around waving at people, just high-fiving, <laughs> taking any segue <laughs> selfies, anything like that. Please don't do it, guys. Keep four points of contact at all times for me. When you're going around, you're going to keep a three-meter gap between yourself and the person 